Welcome back, this is Mismanagement, and in this video I'm going to take you through the best games to play on PC if you're wanting to manage a school or university. In the early 2000s we had School Tycoon, a favourite of many, and it's taken a long time for us to get to a point where we now have a few modern options to choose from. We now have Academia School Simulator, Two Point Campus, and Let's School. I've spent some time playing each of these games to get a good idea on the key differences and hopefully help you decide which one is for you. Let's start with Academia School Simulator. If the art style here looks familiar, it's because the artists who worked on Prison Architect also worked on Academia. The 2D top-down view and intricate menus are a homage to Prison Architect and similar in building and management gameplay. There's a normal mode, which is your standard career mode, starting on a blank map with some cash and hired workers, sandbox mode without any money restraints, and scenarios where you work to complete objectives on different maps. In the standard mode, you'll start your school by building an office for your principal and a classroom for each of the four year levels, ensuring you have enough desks for all the students. Before each school year starts, you'll be shown how many applicants you have for each year level, so this makes planning a bit easier. Hire staff to teach subjects and check your schedule to ensure that there's enough teachers assigned to appropriate subjects for each class. Classes and teachers are automatically assigned and scheduled, but here you can manage and change things around to get your school running more smoothly. The reports section is where you'll do most of your management and where you can assign and reassign students to different classrooms. Students have a range of needs, including their sense of safety, their health and their discipline level. These needs affect your students' moods, which in turn affect their motivation to do well at school. And students also have traits, which add a little bit more depth. You'll need to keep your students happy to stop them from leaving for a rival school. Students will hang out with each other, confess their love to their crushes, and you'll need to keep an eye out for bullying. You can put troublesome students into detention and unlock new ways to set your students straight, including cleaning the bathrooms. The research tree is vital to enhancing your school and bringing much needed services. And this includes specialized classrooms, new employee types, and access to better teachers. At the end of each year, your students will have their final exams. And depending on how well they did, your school will increase in rank and this will encourage more applicants to your school. Also, the more students you have, the more money you receive each day. So keeping your students happy and high achieving is key to success. I really enjoy the depth of the different employee types and the ability to control the finer details like routes for hall monitors and janitors, but I feel like it lacks a little bit of depth with the student traits and interactions. Overall, I still think it's a really good game though, and it enables you to build different types of schools and really large schools quickly, even customising your uniforms. Now let's have a look at Let's School. This is the newest of the three coming out in July of this year from Pathia Games, the same developers as my time at Porsche. It has a low poly 3D art style and the buildings and furniture all fit really well together. There's a standard career mode and a sandbox mode and two maps to choose from at the moment. You'll need to build classrooms and furnish them with a range of objects to make your classroom function and for each room there are required items and often there are objects that give a boost to the room's functionality. Classrooms are allocated to different year levels and multiple classes for year levels will be needed as you progress. You'll open these admissions offices and different prefects around your school on the map and this will influence the number of applicants that come through. You'll get new applicants in the first two days of each school year. Your various admissions offices bring students with different traits as well as different study goals and you'll be able to see all these before admitting them. Teachers are specialised in one of four main study areas of either humanities, science, art or sport and they have differing skill levels and abilities to be levelled up. Their skills are teaching ability, research capability, manage difficulty and training proficiency. They can also have certain certificates which enable them to teach higher level subjects or undertake particular jobs. There's other employee types as well, like chefs, administrators, salespeople, and security guards. And you can train your staff skills up to whatever the level of their training proficiency is. But after that, they'll need to be sent out for extra courses to enable their skills to be ranked up higher. Each of your classes and services has this management difficulty, and this is affected by employee management skills, as well as student and staff moods and numbers. You'll need to build management departments to take the load off your principal and keep an eye on departments that need extra support. I think that this is a really interesting aspect and an extra layer of challenge. 
Subjects for each classroom are assigned in the classroom schedule and this is where you can also see the expected outcome of your student's grade. This is a great way to see if you need to create a new class to help particular students study a specific subject to pass. These aren't necessarily your students' final grades though and a range of things can influence their learning including the light levels and temperature. On the map screen you can see areas that you haven't yet explored and send classes on excursions. This gives a few different pop-up options which have a chance to affect your students' learning and the school's reputation. This is also how you unlock new areas to build admissions offices in, bringing in new students with higher tuition and new study goals. Students will form friendships or rivalries and there are some really lovely animations as you watch your students make new friends or get up to mischief. You can check your students' inventories for contraband and place cleaning supplies for them to help keep the school clean. You'll of course need to build amenities from bathrooms to parks to bike sheds and somewhere to eat. And this is where your research department comes in. So building a research room and assigning a teacher with a high research skill as your head researcher will enable you to unlock new policies and amenities. You can even become a boarding school and build dormitories for your students. There are multiple research trees and by adding more researchers to your department, you'll increase the speed of your research. Although there could be more customization options, I really enjoy building and let school. Having multi-story building really adds depth to your schools. In career mode, you'll make progress towards specific goals to raise your school level and get rewards. It's a really great game, and the developers have done such a good job in making you feel a connection with your students, which I think has been a main struggle for the other games. There's already been some updates since release, and there's a roadmap for the future as well. All in all, it's an engaging and fun game to play with a good balance of challenge and creativity. And now let's take a look at Two Point Campus. Made by Two Point Studios, who modernized Theme Hospital with their game Two Point Hospital, Two Point Campus lets you build a university campus with weird and wonderful students. The game looks really good visually, with polished 3D cartoony art and well thought out themes, although the silliness of it is just really not my taste. Despite this, I was pleasantly surprised with how much I enjoyed playing Two Point Campus, having had rather low expectations after playing Two Point Hospital. You'll start off playing through campaigns which teach you the game, and you'll unlock sandbox mode after completing four of these campaigns. The base game has 12 different maps to choose from, and they correspond to different themes for your students. As Two Point Campus focuses more on managing a university, you'll cater to really specific course types, and these include robotics, wizardry, archaeology, and night school. You'll manage your courses at the start of each year, and this will dictate the types of classrooms that you need. As your student numbers increase, you'll need to add additional classrooms and lecture theatres, and you'll need to build new classroom types when adding new courses to your university. When managing courses before your year starts, you'll see how many students have applied and how many will be admitted. There are three types of staff, teachers, assistants, and janitors. Assistants work at food stands and libraries if they have the right qualifications. You'll also have janitors who look after cleaning and with the right qualifications also do maintenance. After building a staff training room, you can level up your teachers and other staff, send them to get new qualifications to expand the tasks that they can do. Teachers are specialized in particular subjects with differing skills and can also be put into other roles like private tutoring. Just like other games, the students' moods affects their learning, and sometimes they'll need extra intervention to help them get back on track with their studies. You can track how well your students are doing by checking on the Students tab and send students in need for private tutoring, medical appointments or pastoral support. Students can take on assignments using certain objects to get a boost to their study or a debuff from a disappointing fail. Your teachers' moods and abilities also affect their learning. You'll provide bathrooms, dorm rooms, food and some fun activities as well. There's a range of student clubs that you can set up and these include things like the fast walking club or the nap club and they give buffs to students who are members. Events can be scheduled at venues like the Student Association to boost the mood of your students. As you progress, you'll earn kudosh, which is used to unlock extra objects and customization options. This is separate to the standard research tree, which has research for more fundamental school operations. At the research lab, you can start research projects to bring new courses and improvements. The more advanced your facilities are and the more amenities to stay on top of students' needs and moods, the better they'll do in their course. At the end of each semester, you'll see how many of your students had a passing grade, which ultimately affects the success of your university. Overall, I think it's a really well thought out game with great themes and great attention to detail. And while I'm not personally a fan of the cartoony art style, I did have a much better time playing it than I thought that I would. It is also the most expensive of the three games and has three expansions so far, so I think it also depends on what kind of gameplay you're after. Now let's do an overall comparison of all three. Academia, Two Point Campus and Let School all have a lot in common, from laying out your classrooms and departments, hiring teachers and keeping students happy so they can learn. 
In academia and two point, you're relying mostly on your teacher's capability, whereas in let school you can really schedule different classes depending on your students' needs. The art styles are all clearly very different and I'm not sure that everyone would enjoy the 2D top-down view of academia, although the focus is more about the layout and logistics of your school, so there might be some people who enjoy that. I enjoy having lots of different types of staff to manage and the in-depth management options that are similar to Prison Architect. I really like having dormitories to manage inlet school and two-point campus, adding more things to build and manage. It's also worth considering that these games are in different phases of their lifetime. Academia has no major updates to be released, so what you see is what you get. Two Point has ongoing DLC releases, the most recent being Medical School, which is a nice nod to Two Point Hospital. And Let School have a range of planned updates, features, and are very connected to the community. I really enjoy that there are distinct differences between all these games and can see myself wanting to go back to all of them at some point for different reasons. If I did have to pick one though, it would probably be Let School. I feel like it offers a lot of replayability and gives me management options that I'm really looking for in a management game. Some other notable games that you might want to check out are School Tycoon, Spellcaster University, No Pineapple Left Behind, Virtual U, and Pocket Academy. If you have any questions about any of these games, please comment below and I'll do my best to reply. I really appreciate all the love and support. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. This is Mismanagement out.